In early 1348, Guy de Chiliac, a cleric and the Pope's personal doctor, heard news that the Black Death was only weeks from the Papal Palace at Avignon. Guy studied the movement of the stars and planets and reported his findings to his master, Pope Clement VI. He explained that God's warnings, heavy clouds, blasts of hot winds, falling stars, and a column of fire seen above the papal palace all signaled that a terrible affliction was at hand. The configuration of the heavens is the cause of this pestilence. In 1345, at one hour after noon on March the 20th, there was a major conjunction of three planets in Aquarius. This signifies death. Regardless of the risk to himself, Guy de Chiliac visited the sick throughout the epidemic. The disease was most humiliating for doctors who were unable to help. <coughs> if they risked visiting their patients, they could do no good and so earned no fees, for almost all the infected died. After several grueling weeks, de Chiliac finally fell ill himself. Observing the telltale boils on his own body, he took to his bed, fearing he might have only days to live. For the next six weeks, he attempted to treat himself. Believing his body had been corrupted by the infected cloud, he submitted to regular bleedings, using a heated cup to draw his blood to the surface of the skin and so draw out the poisons. Whenever he could summon the strength, he would record his symptoms in detail. To his surprise, he began to record a recovery. Having survived the plague, de Chiliac was even more determined to continue his research. It was not long before he made a breakthrough. It was of two types. The first with continuous fever and spitting of blood. From this, one died in three days. The second, also with continuous fever, but with carbuncles on the armpits and groin. From this, one died in five days. De Chiliac had correctly diagnosed that there were two types of plague, and that the first, pneumonic plague, was more infectious and more deadly than the second, bubonic plague. So remarkable was this discovery that the Pope, for the first time, gave his blessing to the dissection of the dead, which had previously been forbidden as a sin. <laughs> 